I see an f, g, and h function. And if I do f plus g times h, it should give us this function over here for a certain value of t, right? I'm jumping straight to Desmos, and I'm going to start with typing my three functions. So we have f of x is equal to that. We have g of x is going to be equal to 4x squared minus our tx plus 3. Add a slider. And finally, h of x is equal to x minus 2. I'm going to turn these off for now because our primary role is just defining these three functions for Desmos. So I can type our third or our fourth line, which is f of x plus g of x times h of x. The reason Desmos is able to graph this is because we've defined what all three of these functions are. Now they tell us that this should be equal to 4x to the third minus 13x to the second plus 20x minus 1. And again, all I have to do is slide my t until it gets equal to it. So I kind of just did it a little luckily there, but all you have to do is go back and forth until it matches up with your line. And it's definitely overlapping. So it looks like our t value is going to be equal to 5 here. 